Okay, so we're gonna try something here. Um, I've, I am, I'm on a Chromebook and I'm remoting into a Windows computer, so this may go terribly, but I've drawn something up here. You can kind of see, um, you know, I've drawn something up in SolidWorks, and I'd like to show you kind of how we can, in SolidWorks, do some of the things we're talking about. And I've put for our convenience down here the, at least you can, there are the seven, first seven rules of uh, dimensioning practices All right, so I'm going to try to implement those here into um, into a drawing file and, and so I've got part one open that's fine let's see come on oh sorry about that my network's a little wonky and like I said I'm remoting into a computer here so so far it's it's okay all right here we go so there's a front view for this thing we'll drop a right view and we'll drop a top view for this thing now we could go through like we did in the tutorial and have SolidWorks put the model items in for us that would be okay that, that wouldn't necessarily be a problem with that um, I'm going to manually put them in, which isn't necessarily the best idea, but I'm trying to illustrate to you the principles we've talked about. Let's talk about using those then um, in SolidWorks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Smart Dimension, and I'm just going to start putting some of these in here. Right? So we can define the overall size of this thing. Right, so if I define the overall size of this thing, I just drop a, a two inch dimension there. Right, um, we can drop, I might do the overall size of this thing across the top. So the overall size of this is about three inches. And then the size of this guy is two inches. Now I'm spacing these out and, and you, you kind of get used to doing that if you do these by hand. Um, doing them on the computer, I have the advantage of being able to move these around after the fact if I don't like where they're at or, or how they're laid out. Um, now I also want to define, so that defines the overall size of the object in the X and Y direction, if you will, but we need to find its overall size in the Z direction. So that would be, what we don't know is we don't know how far this goes into the page, but that would be on this view, right up here, I could define, you know, and this dimension essentially defines from this view how far this thing goes into the page. So we see that on the top view. We can't see it from the front. And then from there, uh, that's got the overall size of most things. Uh, we need to define the, the uh, size and location of some of these features within here. Well, we could do this thing on the top. We could define its overall size. That's, um, I wanna get the circular arc there and I can just drop these three quarters of an inch, I could drop that over there. So that's to find the size of that. I could define the size of this feature. Now that one's also three quarters of an inch. Now these are two different features, but I've defined the size of both of them. Now I think we'll probably have to finish this up on the next video. I don't know how many more videos we'll end up with, but I'm going to try to change our alignment a little bit here, but we'll definitely move to the next video on this one.